Long Goose Jake here with a different kind of review on a different kind of product that's sold through two different retailers under two different names, but it's all made by the same company. Yeah, vague intro is vague. But what am I talking about? I'm talking about foam swords that light up. Now, the, the two different products, it comes down to the fact that Busby is making foam swords for both their own branding under Air Warriors, as well as to be sold at Walmart under the Adventure Force label. Now, these are, of course, made by Busby Toys. It even says so. If you want to check on the package here, it says made by Busby Toys. And they both share a number of features. The one main difference will come down to the fact that the actual Busby sold one is available only at Dollar General, just to name that, but it has a button activation mode. And the ones that have been sold through Walmart under the Adventure Force label react to impact. It actually has a motion sensor in there. And that's how they light up, is under a impact. So two different products, really. Oh, and the uh, Adventure Force ones, they have a locking connector in the back to where you can make a crazy dual wheel. Now here's the thing. No matter which version you pick, they're both $5. And they both have what seems to be the same brightness of uh, LED inside of them. And it's bright enough that even despite my lighting in the workshop, which I have no fewer than let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 fluorescent lights around me to make it this, this bright for filming, this is still able to be picked up. I can see it on my camera right there. And the whole mechanism is in the handle. The uh, the core actually stops up here. And there is a very large amount of foam, particularly in this broadsword version. There's a large amount of foam around that. And we've been using these just, you know, here, here at home. And there have been no issues with safety. They're, the one issue is eventually we start going and hitting each other so hard we end up snapping the handles. But it takes a lot to do that. But nobody's actually suffered injury before this thing broke. I've got three of them that are broke. But I have a total, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have a dozen of these things. So out of a dozen, we had breakages on three. And when I say that they've, they've held up really well, I mean it. Like full force swings to try to test it out. And, yeah, I was kind of the guinea pig for a lot of that, intentionally. But, to give you an idea how bright these things are, let's take a look at this little clip here. I'll put it up, inset it, and then I'll blow it up for you to see real close. And as you can see in the background of darkness, these things are actually pretty bright. And keep in mind, these are only $5. No matter if you get them from Dollar General, with the... Uh, Busby Air Warriors version, or if you go pick up the version from Walmart sold under the Adventure Force label, they're actually really bright. And again, the only difference is that the Adventure Force versions that I found at my local Walmart are all using the impact sensor for for lighting up the sword, and the Busby branded one lights up with a button. I personally prefer the button because I have actually had, where I keep these in a uh, their own crate, I've actually had them keep going on and off as I move stuff around in the workshop, and of course that eats into the battery. This one, the uh, button is in behind the hilt here, so you have to be intentionally trying to push that on. Saves on battery life. And I have had some of the Adventure Force ones go dead after we've had these things for six months now, or, or longer. But with the choices, I mean, you have a lot of color choices, a lot of size choices, so you can pick from, you know, a slim sword, a broad sword, multiple different colors, and two different swords to get them at. So, I'm, I'm going to put this up as the uh, Adventure Force and Air Warriors foam sword review, but either way, I'm going to put a link to both Dollar General and Walmart. I'll put that in the video's description, as well as a pinned comment, because they're both $5. 
four ninety seven through Walmart for the Adventure Force version, $5 at Dollar General for the Air Warriors version. You really, really can't go wrong with either choice. Different kind of review, different kind of product, but I'm absolutely going to recommend it because this is what this is what I use personally. If I'm going to pick up a foam sword to use at a nerf event, well, I'm going to grab either the Adventure Force or the Air Warriors sword because other options are far more expensive and these have proven themselves to be both safe and durable and they have the added feature of being able to light up or lock together depending on the version you get and I like that and I like the fact that hey they're five bucks think about the other options we've had on the market for a foam sword that's usable at a nerf event there's not many options and they're normally much more than five dollars but till next time this is Mongoose Jake saying thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it